the instant gratification can actually tap into a part of our brain that releases dopamine. And it's the same kind of receptors that propagate an addiction. So if this is a game that you grew up on, it evokes a sense of nostalgia and a feeling of almost being this child again without fears, without confines. Well, I first became aware of this phenomenon by a client who walked into my office playing Pokemon. They aptly shut off the Pokemon for, for our meeting, but really talked about how it allowed them to detach from the stress of the day. And I think so many people are looking for that and that can be really positive. When you have time limits or you're rushing to get somewhere, activate your sympathetic nervous system, our rush of adrenaline flooding throughout our body. You see all these other people playing the game, having conversations with each other that they may not have had and, and striving towards similar purposes, affording a sense of belonging and connectedness. However, the cost to that is this world where we become absorbed in the Pokemon zone and we lose our sense of empathy, our sense of who our neighbors are, where we're going, and we just become so kind of immersed in this monocular focus. You're looking at a screen and having to interact and in its own way, a little bit of practice doing that can be great. We need to be able to switch between tasks having changes or alterations in our cognitive flexibility all throughout the day. However, the more extreme case is people who are doing this all throughout the day, trying to tend to other tasks, going back and forth, and that could actually lead to exhaustion, fatigue, and distraction. Your Pokemon use is mm, perhaps a little too heavy or intent if it's interfering with your daily functioning. How are you doing at work? Are you still connecting with your spouse, your partner, your friends as frequently? It's individual specific. And I think a really big important part of this is not taking this game to an extreme, having some limits for everybody so that this kind of game doesn't interfere with your daily functioning and become so extreme that uh, it, it's more isolating than connecting.